Hello, lovely humans. It is Molly from Molly Reads and Writes, coming to you from a sandy beach on a river in the shoe spot. I did bring a bag of writing stuff with me right here, but also like it's really hot, so I don't know if I'm gonna utilize it, but I have it. There's stuff in here. And now there's sand all over me. Good job, Molly. Anyway, I get back to the trailer slash park model also. I'm going to actually spend some time writing, which I will film and talk to you about as I do it. But also, 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 this book. I have, how many pages do I have left? I'm on 176 of 188. I am so close to done and I just want to finish it. I think I've been reading it for four days now and I just need to be done and move on to something else. And then the issue is that like there's so much sciencey words and such in it and then I was thinking to myself, Molly, you're writing a science fiction novel right away. You, you can't really complain about the science words when you're writing a science fiction novel. So today, I think we are going to, we're going to work a little bit more on building my world, but also cooling down. Maybe walking in the water, getting the sand off of me. We'll do that first. We'll do that first. about planning my middle, which Ben encouraged me to quit. Just kidding, I'm totally twisting that conversation. 100%. More like I just gave up because I've plotted enough and I know... I know exactly where the story is going, so I think by starting writing it, I'll have a really good idea of what to do in this stupid spot that's left. It's not very big. So I'm not, I'm not really worried about it anymore. So I just have some planning left to do of the world building, most of which I will do on the fly. I kind of really just want to start writing this and get some of the words down because I'm really excited about this idea. And then also what I did come up with for the middle gave me some ideas for book two because I did have this planned as a duology, but book two was super loosely thought out. I didn't have any ideas yet. So, I'm dressed super fancy because we're gonna go have dinner with my grandparents, just a fancy appetizer dinner, and play some cards, and drink some rum. But Richard's already got me tipsy because I've not eaten enough today and the rum he made me was strong. And later, I'm gonna come back here and <laughs> read more of Robert Michael's The Demon in the Trees by Ben Sanders. And I'm so excited. I'm really annoyed that I had to stop halfway through the second chapter to go to dinner. But one must eat to drink more alcohol. Yeah, let's go with that. I will chat with you later. Most likely not tonight. I have no idea. We'll find out. Good afternoon, lovely humans. It is August 10th, Thursday, August 10th now, and what am I doing? Today I'm going to try to make sense of the journey that my characters must go through to get from Earth to science fiction. It doesn't make much sense, but it's okay. <laughs> I have a bit of a migraine today, so I spent the morning resting. I was supposed to be sleeping, but I was also almost done Demon in the Trees and couldn't put it down, so I read it instead. And now I'm super drugged up with Advil. Got my handy dandy peppermint oil, so that's that's a thing too. I'm gonna write. 
plan. I'm going to plan. I wanted to actually start writing, but when I was working on finishing my video to post today, I realized that my shift key, the one I use the most on my computer, is now broken because I've been typing so much lately. So I need to take my computer in to get serviced before I can really get into writing. Otherwise I'm going to be fixing capitals, or words that should have capitals, all over the place. And I just, I don't feel like doing that. So we're going to keep planning. In this? Or this? I don't, I don't know yet. We'll find out. It is freaking early on Friday morning. By that I mean it's like quarter to eight or something now. I couldn't sleep last night, so I'm running off of like maybe an hour of sleep. And I distinctly remember saying how six o'clock in the morning is an awful time to get up. And that is definitely when I ended up giving up on sleep today. So that's nice. That's very nice. My parents came by the lake last night on their way out to the coast and I guess I didn't quite realize how difficult it would be to see them with only one dog and to see Romeo just like hanging off of their every move because he, he never knew a time without Cleo so he was missing his best friend and that just was like, ugh, that was, yeah. So I guess part of me like had that running through my head all night and trying really hard to just not think about it and not cry again. <laughs> but anyway, I doubt I will get any writing done today because this is like the last two days of our vacation and I'm going to focus on just reading and hanging out. When I get back home, I actually want to start naming my characters because currently, uh, like, only two of my characters have names. The rest of them are named after some attribute that they possess in some manner. So I have a character named Asshole, and I have a character named BFF number one, and a character named XBF. So they need real names, and I gotta work on that before I can actually start writing. Otherwise, I'll be so confused as to what character I'm talking about. Because even a couple of the character names that I currently have, I went through them yesterday and I don't know who I was talking about so I gotta figure that out too but I just thought I would end the vlog here so that when I'm done reading on the beach I can go back to the trailer and have time to edit this vlog and get it up today on Friday like it's supposed to be and hasn't been the last couple weeks wish me luck on actually doing it when I'm supposed to my question to you today has to do with character names and what do you do when you can't think of a character name? What do you use for a placeholder, I guess you could call it? Do you just use name in all capitals? Or do you give them some sort of character trait as their name until you come up with one? Or do you refuse to move on until they all have names? I would like to know. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe to see more in the future. And I hope that you have an awesome morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it is, wherever you are.